a scorpion needed to cross a river. And so the scorpion bargained with a toad so the toad could help him across the river. The toad said, I'll help you across the river as long as you don't sting me. Because if you do, we're both going to drown to our death. In which the scorpion agreed. But halfway across the river, with the scorpion on the toad's back, the scorpion stung the toad. And as they were both drowning to their death, the toad looked at the scorpion surprisingly and asked, Why did you do that? Then the scorpion looked back at the toad and said, I just couldn't help it. Black men, you are the toad. And the sooner you realize that the liberal black woman is the scorpion, the better your life would be. The more simple and smooth your life will be. Because I realize that a lot of black men in the Western world do not realize that 90%, 85 to 90% of black women in this Western world are liberal. They're progressives with liberal ideologies. To the liberal black woman, every other cause comes first. The liberal black woman is not your friend, black man. They're not your friend. They're feminist first. They're LGBTQIA MNLOP first. They're socialist first. And they only talk about the race issue when a black man has been killed by a police or by a white person they do not care otherwise unless your situation benefits them directly the liberal black woman takes their cue from the liberal white woman they go with the liberal white woman and to the liberal white woman their white man is their enemy number one because that's how they get brainwashed in colleges and universities the white man their white man to them symbolizes oppression and the patriarchy they have to bring down but they don't know they're destroying their own civilization because they focus on the negative traits of the white man and of men in general that they're so blinded to how men have built sing civilization almost single-handedly the white man to the liberal white woman to all them karens is her enemy number one so by default the enemy number one to liberal black woman is the black man that's what they believe to them you are the patriarchy they need to bring down the liberal black woman is not your friend you're behind enemy lines and you do not even know it a lot of black women are celebrating the death the passing of mr samuels kevin samuels and a bunch of people are surprised especially black men and non-black men they're so surprised like why are they why would you celebrate the death of someone hillary clinton is criticized worldwide for celebrating the death of gaddafi and Gaddafi wasn't even that much of a nice man. But people are like really celebrating the death of a man that his own, his, was only guilty of expressing his own opinion. Because in this Western world where they venerate the mother goddess and the divine feminine, the feminine principle, the man, the masculine principle, the quote unquote patriarchy, is not allowed to have a voice. So you airing your, your own opinion on matters, on social issues, is a crime to these liberal women that have embraced the divine feminine principle. And so to them, you are enemy number one. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, purple, green, orange. You do not have a say in their mind to speak on anything to or even criticize their bad behavior. Black women 
a basically above reproach. You cannot tell them otherwise. You cannot scold them or correct them. This boss chick energy is like a mind virus that has gone rampant to spread in the whole black community right now to find a black woman that doesn't have this whole I'm a queen, I'm a diva boss mentality. It's so rare. You might as well just focus on yourself because trying to deal with these women and trying to change their mindset is not worth it because a lot of them are pretty much set in their ways. They cannot cost correct now. They are too far gone. Like it's pretty much that bad now that you have black men from the Western world traveling outside the country to whichever third world country of their choice to try and find femininity. Because it's like you've been in the desert for so long, you're thirsty for water and you find a small oasis, you rush it, doesn't matter if it's a mud. You rush the water because you're in the brink of dying of thirst. So the black women have become so feminine, so masculine, sorry. Because that's how they've been raised. And black men have been programmed to accept that. But here comes Kevin Samuels telling you, you don't have to accept less. Do not get shamed into accepting this. Do not get shamed into accepting what's going to take you to an early grave. Because stress and heartache will kill you. If you've, if, if you've thrived your whole life to make yourself a better version of yourself, you deserve better. And go where you'll be appreciated. But this woman hates that. They hate the fact that he was speaking the truth. Not his truth, my truth, your truth. The truth he was speaking. And the truth to the liberals are like kryptonite. They do not want to hear that. And they're celebrating his death right now. I don't want to make this video too long, guys. But you get my point. Go where you'll be appreciated. Do not be surprised when all these black women are celebrating someone's demise like this. Like he's not black. I don't know if you guys remember this interview Ice Cube had on Fox Soul with a bunch of black women, boss chicks black women, and it was talking about meeting with Donald Trump and trying to make a deal with Donald Trump for the aid of black people. And this black woman kept saying, what about black women? What about black women? And he's like, yeah, but this deal is going to be for the betterment of black people as a whole. But then they were like, yeah, we know that. But what about black women? Is there anything on the bill for black women? That's because black women see themselves as their own demographic. He who have ears, let them hear. You better listen, black men. You better listen. Your enemy number one is the liberal black woman. <laughs> Okay, you better listen.